the summer and should be ready by next spring. 635 and the scientific benefits of breastfeeding for infants are well documented, but a new study goes one step further. It finds that 800,000 lives could be saved if more women breastfed longer. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean joins us now from the live desk. And Kristen, this study found economic benefits as well. That's right. The research was published recently in the medical journal The Lancet. It's billed as, quote, the most in-depth analysis done so far. It found that by scaling up breastfeeding levels, 830,000 children's lives could be saved now worldwide. And the deaths of 20,000 moms could be averted. And there's an economic benefit as well. The study found a savings of about $300 billion. Local doctors say it's not hard to believe. Long way from where she was. Hillary Tribby spends a lot of time here, keeping watch over her tiny baby girl, Rowan. And technically, she was born before viability, so the fact that she's here is, is, is a huge deal. Yeah. Rowan was born in November, nearly four months early, weighing in at one pound, five ounces. Because she's so fragile, there isn't much her mom can do except provide breast milk. Rowan's doing great, and I'm sure to some extent that's because she's stronger and her immune system was better because of the breast milk she received. The scientific benefits of breastfeeding for all infants are well documented. Breast milk helps boost a baby's immune system. It's linked to higher IQ scores and lower rates of obesity. For preemie babies like Rowan, it can help prevent deadly infections. If a mom can breastfeed even for a week or two, a lot of the very important immunoglobulins and anti-infective agents that are in breast milk are passed to the baby within those first couple of weeks of life. Despite all of this, breastfeeding Tell is no that. longer a norm in many communities. In fact, the latest research suggests fewer than 40% of moms in some countries around the world are breastfeeding past six months, and that lives could be saved if moms breastfed longer. The research places the blame in part because of the marketing of breast milk substitutes and a lack of support. It's something medical professionals struggle with. I don't want moms to feel that we're pushing them, but I feel as healthcare providers that maybe we are letting moms down. We're not being as supportive. We're not educating them as much as we could. Tribby knows the benefits and hopes to provide her milk to Rowan for at least two years. She is very likely to be a kid that when she goes to school, you can't pick her out from any other kid in the classroom or on the playground. <laughs> of course, it's very important to note that some people can't breastfeed for medical reasons or choose not to, but experts say more support should be given to people who choose to breastfeed, and that could help some of these outcomes. More info on this on our WSBT 22 app. Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. All right, Kristen, thanks very much. Now, 638 on WSBT 22 first in the morning, so be careful where you hunt. Undercover robots could be targeting you. Plus, some